my name is Sarah and we are going to be talking about baby book club or baby book reports where we talk about children's books and how they mean something completely different to me now that I'm an adult. I hope you'll enjoy and maybe you have similar reactions now that you read children's books more than anything else. So with that being said, we're going to get into our first installment of this series, which is featuring the book Henry Babysits by Robert Quackenbush. This book is about a very stressed out duck named Henry who regretfully accepts to babysit all of the children in the neighborhood and he keeps having more and more kids to babysit as people notice him babysitting one, they'll bring their kids and then he's stuck babysitting a lot of people with very little experience. My first takeaway is that Henry really has no idea what he is doing and is ill-equipped to be babysitting any of these children. As evidenced by the first child he watches, he places him on a couch where he could easily roll over and fall off and hurt himself. More and more people come by asking Henry to babysit their children as well, which leads me to my second point. What was the childcare plan for all of these people before they just realized that Henry was watching all the kids? Are the parents all on their way to work? Were they going to bring their child with them until they realized Henry was available? It begs a lot of questions about the responsibility of these parents. If I could give Henry advice, I would advise him to perhaps ask more questions before accepting the job, such as, does this child need to eat? Will I need to feed him? What do I feed him? How much? Also, as far as these parents, they did not drop anything off for their child. Really, the parents are dropping the ball quite a bit too. There's equal blame for both the parents and Henry as a babysitter. Uh, I do see at the end there are some other books by this author called Henry's Awful Mistake, which I can just assume is a continuation of Henry's babysitting adventure and Henry's important date that he probably missed because he babysat the entire neighborhood and Henry goes west likely to avoid neighbors who will drop off their kids unannounced. So, Henry Babysits by Robert Quackenbush. I'll bet you could find it on Amazon. Don't forget to join us next time where we will be discussing Dr. Seuss's Green Eggs and Ham. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe by hitting the red button and give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more like it and comment below if you have any book requests.